Meanwhile, here in the Tampa Bay area, flags were lowered today. And the Pittsburgh attack now sparking calls for safety at places of worship here. ABC Action News reporter Kyla McGivern tonight live at Congregation Rodef Shalom, where a vigil is scheduled tonight. Kylie. Yes, Paul, the mayor offered to have the city pay for security at this event that's really meant to bring people together. And it's that kind of security other area churches and places of worship are now taking a harder look at. Immediately, the phone calls increase drastically. Calls for help as the world watches in horror at another shooting in a house of worship. Most time it's churches asking for assessments. Can you come to our church and tell us where we're vulnerable? Theo Belaris owns ESS Global Corporation in Tarpon Springs, which specializes in church security, a specialty some never imagined there'd be a need for. Historically, churches have always been a quote unquote safe place, right? Now, Belaris works to train security and congregations themselves on what to do in the event of a shooter, saying it all starts outside. If you can have greeters that stand outside that maybe stand in the parking lot, you know, at the end of this sidewalk, hey, how you doing? Never seen you here before. Um, what's your name? Because what that does is it puts them on notice. We know you're here. Unfortunately, it's a reality that we need to be prepared for. Jason Clemis, a pastor in Tarpon, says even before the Pittsburgh tragedy, he accepted the need for more security. I think it's the most proactive thing we can do. Inside? I come in here and I'm looking at things like exits. I'm looking at things like hard rooms. I'm looking at things like evac routes. Uh, a security plan for the congregants. A plan that needs practice. Your response is going to greatly determine, do I live today? And online, we found another organization is also hosting a church security forum. That's First Baptist Church of College Hill in Tampa. Again, that's going to be the end of next month. As for tonight, this vigil is expected to start at 7 o'clock. Kylie McGivern, ABC Action News, back to you.